Hey guys, what's up, it's Jax here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a working shulker box swapper in your Minecraft world. And this is updated to the latest version. Now, if 1.20 does come out and there are some changes, make sure to check the pinned comment if there is one, or the description, because I'll update you there. But if there isn't any pinned comment or description, you can assume that this is working. So, let's have a look at how it goes. So here is the shulker box swapper. All it is is a button on a flush, reasonably flush wall. We just have to put two stairs here to hide the piston. We also have a lever here. So by pressing this button, it um, cycles through all the different shulkers and all the different colors, and we can easily open them and access whatever we have in them. Now, if we do want to take out a take a shulker, for example, we want to take this one. Let me just hop into survival. We flick this. I give myself a iron pickaxe and then we just break the shulker now we can go ahead use this orange shulker say it's our building shulker somewhere else then we can just place it back flick this lever back on and then it is still working fully as you can see and it shulkers through, cycles through all the shulkers now this is super easy to hide as it, the redstoning behind the piston area is only one block thin and is mostly underground. There's just It's just one block above ground for a section of it and it takes up a very small amount of space. So let's get over to the tutorial area and I can show you the redstoning behind it. So this shulker box up here is super simple and super small. So all it does is destroys the shulker box using this piston sends it through to this dropper which sends a chain reaction out of this comparator down the repeater then we have a ding from the snow block observer picks that up and then powers this to send this drop this shulker that would be in this dropper up to this dispenser and then the dispenser will dispense the new one and we can see that all in action just like that so it dispenses it out we can cycle through all of our shulker boxes here the materials you will need for this build will appear on your screen now. Grab all of those and we can get going. Start by digging out a four long hole that is three blocks deep. On the second block in, place a note block with a repeater going into it this way. Then a piece of orange concrete or any sort of building block with a piece of redstone dust on that. Hold shift and place orange concrete on top of that. Place a block here above the repeater with the comparator on it like this. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to go ahead and place a observer on this note block by holding shift, then a dropper facing upwards like this, make sure it's a dropper not a dispenser, then a dispenser facing forward. Place a hopper going into this dropper here, just like that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and place a piston on either side, it can be your left or the right, it's up to you. A block on top of that, this block will be able to be seen so you can use whatever block you want, then we want a button there. Now we want to place one shulker box here, like that. And then we want to fill up our dispenser with eight other shulker boxes. So leaving one spot empty. Now that this is filled up, you have a fully working system. So if I press this button, you can see we have our shulker box stopper working. Now with decorating this, it is pretty simple because most of it is underground and you can build on top of all of this. So if I grab, say, let's grab out some dark oak planks, I can build on top of all of this. I can go straight across here, build on top of that there, just like this. I could build a box around it if I wanted to. I could build a little house. The one thing that you need to be aware of is not to place a block here. Otherwise, you won't be able to open up your shulker boxes. The other thing that you can do is go ahead and place a lever here. So when you flick this lever, it locks the hopper and you can break this shulker box here and pick it up. Now I'm in creative so it didn't drop, but when this lever is turned on, this hopper won't be able to pick up any items and you can see that by me throwing on an item like that. Then all you have to do is just grab out your shulker that you picked up. So I picked up a black shulker, place it back down there, turn the lever off and then press a button and it will be good to go again and it will just start up perfectly. I suggest adding this lever in so you can take your shulkers away, but that's the only extra thing. You don't have to add that, but you can. But yeah, when decorating this, just make sure you don't place a block on top of there. Other than that, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, and of course, don't block the space the shulkers need to go into. 
Now, when changing this button here, you need to make sure you use a, either a polished black stone or a stone button. Wood buttons don't work, and you can see that here. This is because this wood button has a different speed compared to this polished black stone, so the pulse is held for a shorter amount of time. Um, but you can see a polished black stone one works too, um, as well as, say, your stone one. But wood variants won't work, and that includes the warped variants. If you do do it and it breaks, all you have to do is grab a shulker out of the dispenser and place it down, and then you are good to go again. Once you change this button back to a stone one, so let's do that, and back to a stone one, and it's working. So on that note, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all later. And remember, stay carbonated!